Hello. We will be talking about, okay, Math 6, Quarter 4, Week 1 module, and that is all about volume, particularly the relationship between rectangular prism and a pyramid, cylinder and a cone, and cylinder and a sphere. First, let's, let us know what is volume. Ano ba talaga ang volume? Okay. Volume is the amount of space occupied by a solid. Volume is measured in cubic units. Thus, it tells you the number of cubes of a given size. So, bibilangin mo lang yung cubes of a given size. Pwedeng maliit, pwedeng malalaking cubes. Depende sa solid figure mo. Okay? And it could be measured in cubic units such as cubic centimeters kasi nga depende sa cubes na gagamitin mo. So, pwedeng maliliit, cubic centimeters. Pwedeng cubic decimeters, malaki konti. Pwedeng cubic meters, cubic feet, and more. First, let's have or talk about the volume of a rectangular prism. Now, observe the rectangular prism here. Nilagyan ng cubes ang first layer niya. Okay? So, kung bibilangin natin yung first layer, dito sa harap ay meron isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim. Anim na cubes dito sa harap sa unang linya. So, sa pangalawang linya may anim ulit, pangatlo, and then pangapat. So, meron siyang apat na linya ng tiga-anim na cubes. Diba? So, to get the first layer, edi i-multiply mo, mo lang pala yung 6 times 4. So, first layer is equal to 6 times 4. Now, take note, yung 6 dito is your length, and then yung 4 dito is your width. So, para makuha ito, okay, multiply mo lang pala yung first layer, sa first layer to get the number of cubes sa first layer, multiply mo lang pala, mo lang pala ang length at saka yung width. Tama, di ba? And, when you multiply the length and the width, you're actually calculating or kinuha mo yung area of the base. Kasi yung area of the base is a rectangle. And to get the area of the base, multiply mo lang ang length times the width. Di ba? So, first layer, therefore, is just equal to the area of the base. Di ba? Kasi length times width lang, eh. kuha mo na eh. First layer, eh. di ba? Now, paano kung kuhanin natin ngayon ang total volume ng uh, prism? Okay, so, um, basis natin ito. So, area of the base actually is written in symbol as big letter B. Okay, so, let's go on. Alright, so, ito na ngayon ang total volume. So, this is now filled up with cubes. Okay, now, Ilang cubes meron dito? Kung makuha natin lahat ng cubes nito, yun na ngayon ang volume of the rectangular prism. Okay, now, the first layer, okay, um, remember, kinuha natin yung first layer as 6 times 4, which is 24, di ba? Kaya lang, ilang layers ba ito? You have here, 1, unang layer, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Kaya, ibig sabihin, to get the volume, multiply mo yung 6 times 4 for the first layer, and then, i-multiply mo lang pala siya sa height, which is 8, di ba? So, kung titignan mo, 6 is the length, width, ang width natin is 4, and then, yung height is 8. So, ibig sabihin, to get the volume of a rectangular prism, multiply mo lang pala ang length, width, at saka height. Diba? Or, it could be written as just LWH. Kasi pag magkatabi ang mga letters, it means multiplication. Diba? So, para hindi ka na gumamit ng mga uh, multiplication symbol, which is X. Diba? Okay, so, uh, going back to this one. Length times width times height lang pala. And then, you get the volume of the rectangular prism. But, take note. When you multiply the length and the width, kinuha mo lang pala yung area of the base. So, generally, you could say that the volume of a prism, uh, kahit anong prism, ha, is just equal to the area of the base, which is the big letter B, and then times mo sa H. Okay? So, this works uh, with all um, prism, depende na lang sa base. Now, since ang base natin dito is a rectangular prism, yung pinaka-formula niya is length times width times height. Alright? 
let's have the volume of a, of a triangular prism, right? So this is it. This is a triangular prism, okay? And uh, as you can see, the base is a triangle. So the two bases are equal. So it's the two bases are triangles. And uh, sinabi ko na kanina na this formula, which is the area of the base times height, works for all triangular prism bucket. Kasi yung cross section nito kung kung ikakat mo dito, ang hugis nito ay pareho lang sa baba. Pareho lang din sa baba. So all throughout all throughout. Ang shape ng cross section niya ay pareho lang dito sa base natin, which is a triangle. So, itong formula na to works for this one as well. And, um, to get the volume, again, you need to um, get the area of the base, ba? And since ang ating base is, uh, is a triangle, you have to use the formula in getting the area for a triangle. And that would be, ayan, one half base times height. So, ito yung area for the base. And then, multiply natin sa height ng prism. Alright? So, if our base is 5 meters and our height for the triangular uh, base is 3 meters and then our height for the prism is 10, okay? Pwede na natin substitute dito and solve for the volume. So, substituting, we have one half base times height, base which is 5, and then height which is 3. So, eto ngayon is the area of the base pa lang. And then, it times natin with the height which is 10. Right? And then, multiplying 5 times 3, that is 15, times 10, that is 150. So, that would be 1 half of 150. And then, um, getting half of 150, that is 75. And then, ang ating unit, since meters, meters, and meters ito, tatlong beses ka nag-multiply ng meters. So, meters times meters times meters. So, that would be meters cube or cubic meters. Okay. Volume of a rectangular pyramid. So, paano natin gawin or kuhanin ang volume of a rectangular pyramid? I have um, a link video sa baba. So, pwede nyo pong panuorin muna okay, ang mga videos to know more the relationship between a rectangular pyramid and a rectangular prism with the same dimensions. And based on those um, videos, okay, you could say that okay, the volume of three um, rectangular pyramids is equal to the volume of a rectangular prism uh, basta lang basta lang ha na pareho ang kanilang mga um, pareho ang kanilang mga dimensions now given here okay, is the area of the base which is 18cm squared 18cm squared din dito, 18cm squared, and the area of the base of the prism is 18, 18cm squared as well. And then the height ay the same, 8cm, 8cm, 8cm. So, with this one, you could say na the pyramid is one-third, the volume of the pyramid is one-third of the volume of the prism. Okay, ayan. The volume of a rectangular pyramid is one-third of the volume of a rectangular prism with the same dimensions. Ha? Okay, so with this one, pwede na natin masolve ang area or volume ng isang rectangular pyramid. Alright, so let's try using the formula on this one. Okay, so again, formula in getting the volume is, this is now one-third of the area of the base times the height, okay? And then, right, um, since our um, base here is a rectangle, so the area of the base would be length times width and then multiplied with the height. So this is one-third length times width times height. And then substituting, we have, um, right, 8 for the length and then the width is 7 and then our height, perpendicular height. Okay? Yung perpendicular na height dapat ang uh, ilagay natin dito and that is 6. So, we have um, 8 times 7 times 6 and that would be 112. 
And then one third of one hundred twelve, our answer is thirty seven and one third. And since our um, dimension here is inches, is in inches, this would be thirty seven and one third inch cube or cubic inches. Now, how about the volume of a cylinder? Okay, now let's say that the cylinder has a radius 2 cm and the height of 5 cm. How are we going to, going to get the formula of the cylinder? Now, the general formula again works for the cylinder. Bakit? Kasi pareho lang naman ang kanyang base. Equal kasi ang bases niyan. Kaya, this would still work for the cylinder. Kaya lang, since the base is a circle, palitan natin yung area of the base. Okay. So, to get the area of the base, that would be pi r squared. Diba? So, that would be there, pi r squared for the area of the base and then multiply natin with the height. So, um, formula for getting the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height. Okay? And then, substituting, we have 3.14, which is pi. r squared is 2 squared and then height is 5. And then, 2 squared here is 4. Okay, so ito muna isolve natin. So, that is now 3.14 times 4 times 5. And then, multiplying 4 and 5, that is 20. So, 3.14 times 20. And then, ito na yung calculate natin. Uh, madali lang ito. Um, this 20 is equal to 10 times 2, ba? So, multiply natin ito with 10 muna. That is 31.4 times 2, that is 62.8. So, kahit hindi ka na magsulat for the computation. Okay? So, 62.8 and this is now cm cube. Tandaan ha, for volume, it should be cube or cubic, uh, or cubic unit. Now, the volume of a cone. Alright? So, I hope you were able to watch the video. So, on the video, it shows there that a cone is one third, uh, the volume of a cone is one third to that of a cylinder with the same dimensions. Ha? Ayan, so volume is one third of the area of the base times height or one third pi r squared times height. So, ito na yung pinaka formula niya. One third pi r squared times height. So, using this formula, let's solve for this one. So, again, one third uh, area of the base times height. Or one third pi r squared times height. If the height is 10 cm and the radius is 4 cm, palit natin dito. Okay, so ang pi is 3.14. This is now 4 squared. And then the height is 10. There. Okay, and then solving for um, 4 squared muna, this is now, ayan, 1 third times 3.14 times 16 times 10. So, 16 times 10, that is 160. Ayan, so 1 third times 3.14 times 160. And then multiplying natin ito muna ng dalawa. So, you now have 1 third times 502.4. And then dividing this by 3, you will get 167.4. This is actually a... Uh, non-terminating decimal. So, we could just say that our volume, okay, when rounded off to the second um, decimal place, that would just be 167.47 and then the unit is cm cube. Let us now get the volume of a sphere. But first, simula muna tayo with the cylinder. And, uh, take a look ha, yung cylinder natin dito has equal um, or the, the diameter of the cylinder here is equal to its height. So, pareho lang ang diameter at saka ang height ng cylinder. Right? And going back to our formula in getting the volume of a cylinder, you could say that the volume of cylinder is equal to pi r squared times height. Now, take note, since ang ating diameter dito ay equal sa height, then you could say na ang height is equal to diameter, di ba? Kasi nga, equal nga yung dalawa, di ba? And then, palitan natin ang diameter ng radius. Alam na natin na ang diameter ay may dalawang radius. So, 2 radius is equal to the diameter. Di, pwede natin masabi na the height is just equal to 2R. 
dalawang radius kasi isang radius, dalawang radius diameter niyan, 'di ba? E kung equal ito dito sa height eh di pwede nating masabi na ang height natin is equal to 2r, 'di ba? And then substituting ngayon this 2r here, okay? Ayun, pwede mo nang sabihin na this is pi r squared times 2r. Okay? Now, since nag-multiply ka nito lahat at mga symbols lang naman to, unahin natin yung 2 sa pagsulat sa harap. So, you could say na 2 pi r squared times r. Diba? Now, r squared is the same as r times r. I-multiply mo pa ng another r. Edy, this is now r cubed. Diba? So, finally, ang formula for this cylinder na equal ang diameter at saka yung height is 2 pi r cube at magagamit mo lang ito ha kung ang height is equal to the diameter and ginamit natin sa height is 2r okay so substituting this one for our sphere right okay so if we're going to compute for the volume of this sphere um gamitin natin ito okay And take note, ang ating sphere dito has the same diameter with the cylinder, the same ang height. Okay? Kasi nga, equal naman yung height at saka yung diameter, di ba? So, um, in, um, in, a, in the video, okay, it shows there that the volume of a sphere is two-thirds that of a cylinder. Therefore, you could say that volume of sphere is equal to two-thirds, two pi r cube kasi yung volume ng cylinder na to is just pi r cube ba diba? and then uh, multiplying 2 and 2 finally you could say that the volume of the sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cube so eto na ngayon ang formula in getting the volume of a sphere uh, though alam natin na ang volume of a sphere is 2 thirds that of a cylinder kaya lang, when we did substitutions, okay, dahil ginamit natin ang 2R dito, okay, lumabas kasi ito, 4 thirds pi R cubes. So, ito na yung final formula in getting the volume of a sphere. Now, let's try and solve this one. Okay. If the radius of the sphere is 2CM, Using the formula, okay, palitan natin yung radius dito with 2. And then pi is 3.14, so that would be 4 thirds times 3.14 times 2 cube. So 2 cube dito is 8, ayan. And then 3.14 times 8, that would be 25.12. So multiply natin ito with 4 divided by 3. Final answer natin is 33.49 to the nearest uh hundreds place lang yan ha and then our unit would be cm cube alright ok so remember okay. the volume of a pyramid is one third of the volume of a prism with the same dimensions ha so volume of a pyramid would be formula is one third area of the base times height ok And then the volume of a cone is one third of the volume of a cylinder with the same dimension. So that is again, volume is equal to one third pi r squared times height. The volume of a sphere is two thirds of the volume of a cylinder with the same dimension. So supposed to be, eto yung formula, two thirds times two pi r cube. Kaya lang multiplying two with two, final formula would be four thirds pi r cube okay and then the volume of any prism is equal to the area of the base times the height or yan volume is equal to b area of the base yung malaking b ha times height and this also works for uh, even with cylinder okay kaya lang okay magbabago yung formula mo uh, depending on the base of the prism okay right so i hope Naintindihan. And with this one, okay, since this works with all the prism, masusolve kaya natin yung given na prism na ito. What is the volume of this solid? Okay, so this is actually a prism. And 
Tulad ng tinanong ko kanina, masasolve kaya natin ang volume nito? Yes, and that is just by using this formula. And that is area of the base times height. Bakit? Kasi ang base nito okay, are equal, dalawang equal equal bases. So, in-extend mo lang yung papunta doon. Okay, so hindi nagbabago. Therefore, Okay, kahit pa mag-cross section ka dito, parehong shape lang ang lalabas. So to get the air uh, the, the volume of this, okay? You just need to multiply the area of the base times sa height o ito na ngayon ang height niya. Okay? So dahil ito yung dalawang bases niya, so this would serve as the height kasi in a prism, you have two equal bases. And since ito lang dalawa naman ang equal, then these two here serves as the basis, as the basis, ito na ngayon ang height natin. Okay? So, to get the area of the the base, okay? To get the area of the base, i-add mo lang ang area ng rectangle at ang area ng triangle. And then, after you get the area of the base, saka mo na siya i-multiply sa height. So, area of the base here would be, since meron kang rectangle and triangle, that would be length times width, okay? And then, one half base times height for the triangle. And then, i-add mo na yung dalawa. Kasi, ito ay sa area ng rectangle, ito ay sa area ng triangle. And after that, multiply mo ito with the height, which is 12.5, right? And then, substituting, length is actually, length times width is actually 4 times 3. So, that would be 12, di ba? And then, kalahate ng base times height, eh, base is 3 times 4, so that is 12 again, divided by 2, that would be 6. So, this one would be, ayan, 12, and then this is 6, and then multiply natin again with the height, which is 12.5. And then, adding 12 and 6, okay, area now of the base is 18 um, cm squared, okay? And then, times natin with 12.5 cm. So, final answer natin would be 225 cm cube. Kasi tatlong beses na na-multiply ang cm nito. And remember, kapag volume ang pinag-usapan, cubic units yon. So, this is cm cube or just cubic centimeter. Okay?